Okay, let's talk about the overnight high and the overnight low. So there's the regular trading hours everyone's used to trading during the daytime. But for futures, there's an overnight session. An overnight session as it relates to America's time zone. That's when Europe is trading and Asia's trading happens overnight. And this is what they did with price. And what we simply do before the RTH session, we mark the overnight low, what's the lowest price it traded overnight, and what's the overnight high? What is the highest price it traded overnight? This puts overnight price action inside of a box for us, inside of a container for us. And typically, during the New York open and through the entire RTH session, it's going to take out either the overnight high or the overnight low. Sometimes it'll take out both. And on really tight range days, it won't take out either. But always mark your overnight high and your overnight low because that puts a price action within a container. Now, in our group, we also have a indicator that will that'll tell you where those prices are it makes it real easy i'll typically turn on the indicator i'll still draw my lines because i like to do it old school but i use this indicator to make sure i'm lining it up right super easy but i do want to have my own levels here overnight high and overnight low typically you'll find during rth session depending on where we open up that the first time price challenges the overnight high or challenges the overnight low price will bounce off those levels so typically we'll see on the first touch price bounce first touch price bounces especially if there's confluence with some of our other levels which of course we'll get more in depth in the training and during our live zooms Okay, overnight high and overnight low.